Today I am talking with Ruthie Sontag and she is with Clarity Coaching and I'm excited to learn a little bit more about what Clarity Coaching is and how she got into this business. So first of all, just tell me what is Clarity Coaching? So I am a master level life coach and what I help people do is I help them transform their life by renewing their mind. Ooh, that's that's like a really big, um, I don't know, just <laughs> a really big statement. Yes. Right? Yes. So can you go into a little bit more detail about what you do as a life coach? Of course. So according to like cognitive behavioral therapy, we have these thoughts that are controlling our lives. So um, as you think, so you are, which is a very powerful statement. And even um, Henry Ford, he said, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And my question <laughs> is, what do you want to be right about? Yeah, that's Some true. Some of us are holding thoughts that are so limiting mm -hmm. versus expansive and the thoughts that make you open up. So your thoughts create your emotions. Yeah. Your emotions create your actions. And then your actions create your results in life. And so most of us, we just try to change our behavior. But really what we need to do is trace the fruit to the root and be like, mm -hmm. what is the thought that's driving this behavior? Right. Why am I thinking about this? Why am yes. I behaving this way? I actually was just listening to something this morning about the things that people think about that they have no control over. And I didn't get very far in the podcast, but the first one was like, how much people worry about the weather? Wow. <laughs> and I was thinking, isn't that so true? Like. Yeah. You wake up, it's snowing when you think it's going to be nice out, and it immediately like affects your day because yes. people are worried about that. And isn't that so true um, about our thoughts, too? We're worrying about things often that we can't even control. Exactly. So yeah. At Clarity Coaching, I help people manage their minds, which is your mind is your greatest asset. Absolutely. So how did you get into this specifically? Because I'm sure there was a road to doing this. So tell me about it. Absolutely. So I was a middle school teacher for eight years in the yeah. Akron school system. Okay. And um, at a giant conference out in Oklahoma or something like that, in Kansas City, I was at a conference and somebody had mentioned a name to me. I went home and I looked it up and it was a woman who was into personal development. She okay. was doing these um, seminars and conferences. Her name was Danny Johnson. And she's just an amazing, positive, encouraging woman. Had a crazy, amazing story. So I went home and I started just watching a lot of her content. And then it dawned on me one day, like a year later, <laughs> I could go to one of her conferences. And you so, could. And, and so you did. It opened me up. So I, yes. my, in 2019, I went to my first personal development conference and it just like, it wrecked me in, in all the best ways. Yes. It just, it blessed my heart and then it opened me up to this world of personal development. Now as a teacher, I was already in the school system. Yes. I was already educating and teaching and encouraging young people every single day. And which so, is amazing too. Which yeah, was amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, I was not your average math teacher. You know, I had the I kids rapping that. and dancing and doing all these rhymes to make the math <laughs> more fun. Had the kids singing and moving all around the room. Um, so what personal development allowed me to do was take my teaching to the next level. Mm -hmm. And then at one point in around 2021, I learned about life coaching and how I could become the person facilitating the personal development. Yeah. And it blew me away. I was like, I could do this? And I was like, I already am doing this as a teacher. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing I don't have is the training and the certification. Yep. And so you I got, got trained. <laughs> I got certified. And it's, I mean, there's a whole bunch of miracle stories in there. Um, and then I asked, like, I was just praying. I'm a woman of faith. I was just praying. I was asking God, like, when's a good time for me to transition? Because I don't believe in leaving things undone. Right. You wanted to make sure that it was a good time for you to leave teaching. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so I got the green light, got the, got the go ahead. And I took the, um, exciting and sometimes terrifying leap <laughs> of leaving a job to do entrepreneurship and to serve people, uh, through my business and clarity coaching. That's really beautiful. I actually was talking to a teacher friend this morning over Marco Polo about just possibilities. What would it look like if she left um, teaching as well? And yeah. I know that can be scary to take those leaps uh, when we are so used to one way of life. Oh, 100%. So do you work with people on things like that as well? 100%. Yeah. Life transition, change. Um, I work with families and uh, from my time in middle school, I noticed as a teacher, when we'd have parent-teacher conferences, most <laughs> teachers don't like parent-teacher conferences. I loved them yes. because I learned I got to edify the parent to the child and the child mm. to the parent. I actually got to be a bridge and a connecting point over something difficult like school and grades. Right. And so I loved that. So what I ended up doing uh, recently, I just launched a program called Success Club where I help bridge that gap between families so that they can connect 
They can land their communication, and you can build a winning home team. Mm, that's really beautiful. Yeah. Let's expand on that a little bit. So if someone was interested in Success Club, um, what, would they, what would they get if they signed up? Absolutely. Yeah. So in Success Club, we have uh, weekly coaching calls. We have two available times on Mondays for the kids okay. because some are in the homeschooling community mm -hmm. and some are in that public and private school community, as well as there's a night on Tuesday night. Parents get this. <laughs> it's just for them. Yeah. It's where the okay. parents get to get poured into and life breathed into their sails because parenting is hard. It's very hard. And people hard. don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Well, they do talk about how hard it is, but there's no... There's no one there to support them. Right. What and are you going to do about it? <laughs> exactly. And so in Success Club, the whole goal is to help families think, speak, and act like champions. Okay. And so I'm that person also to empower the parents and help bridge the connection between them and their children and empowering their children at the same time. Something I have found is when the apple and the tree aren't on the same page, mm -hmm. it's difficult. It is. So I come to bridge that gap and Success Club is where it happens. Now what age group um, is Success Club for in terms of the kids? I have been asked that wonderful question multiple times. We have kids as young as five years old. Okay. And we have um, our oldest is I think 16 right now. Okay so mostly school age kids. School so age kids. kindergarten yes. all the way through high school. Yes and for right, those wonderful. who are wanting one-on-one -on -one attention I do have some one-on-one -on -one coaching spots available to serve them. And it's, it's really, it's so wonderful to be able to serve families in this capacity, to bridge the that. gap and really build that And I can really team. see your passion. And I love that, you know, you were a middle school teacher and you already had developed a passion for kids yes. for that age group. And then you're able to bring it into your coaching, which is really beautiful. Absolutely. So let's talk also about, I love this, your game changer challenge for entrepreneurs yes. to have 5K days. Tell yes. us about that. And it also connects like through the Success Club. So can I back up for one second? Yes, absolutely. So with Success Club, um, there's a lot that's not taught. Okay. Right? And what do sometimes you mean? our onboarding experiences to life, there's a lot that's not taught. In oh, school, yeah. were you taught in school how to be a parent? No. Were you taught how to manage maybe money or learn how to speak or use? Very little, right? Yeah. So yeah. there's, and I'm not trying mm -hmm. to like poke a giant hole at our, mm -hmm. our education system, but yeah. there, is, there are some gaps. Absolutely. There are some things that we aren't equipped with. Mm -hmm. And so in Success Club, we equip, educate, and empower families to succeed. And my onboarding experience to life, <laughs> where um, when, I, when I was growing up, there were just, there were some gaps. Yeah. There were things I, I didn't know. I think everyone has gaps. Even if you have wonderful parents. Oh, yes. You know, they have gaps, so you're going to have gaps, too. Exactly. <laughs> and I noticed as I was in the school system as a teacher, and then when I became an entrepreneur, wow, more gaps. More gaps. <laughs> My onboarding experience to knowing how to be an amazing entrepreneur, knowing how to hit the ground running, knowing the assets and the tools and the apps and the, the, the things I needed. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I didn't have somebody to hold my hand and help me through those difficult times. And probably a lot of times you wanted to give up because I know how hard that is when you are, are trying to, you know, I relate it to like drowning. You're trying to like stay above water. Yes. Um, as an entrepreneur, because yes. I've done that kind of work as well, you sometimes feel like you're just, you know, doggy paddling. And Absolutely. if you have the tools, if you have a life raft, you don't have to doggy paddle above the water anymore. Yes. <laughs> so um, with, the, with a lot not being taught and a lot not, like you're not having all those tools given to you, what are you to do? You know, and I don't know about you, but mama didn't raise no quitter. Right. So <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. And, the, the helpful thing is figuring it out faster, yeah, right? Absolutely. Having success sooner. And so with entrepreneurs, I think about my own journey and how I want to help them have success sooner, mm -hmm. be able to clear those hurdles and to know which ones to clear. So you're not running in circles or running in the wrong area or uh, wasting precious time, energy, or money. Yeah, absolutely. Like saying no to those things that you don't need to be doing so that you can say yes to the things you do need to do. Exactly. And so with the Game Changer Challenge, the, the whole heart of it is to have 5K days, to put a crazy goal on the wall. And a 5K day is where you create $5,000 in cash. Wow. You do a 5K cardio. Okay. And then we're creating content that gets 5,000 views. So it's cash, cardio, and content. And we throw a crazy goal on the wall, and then what we do is we reverse engineer to get your business set up to get you there. Ooh, I love that. Yes. So, and you walk people through that entire 
program. I do. Well, being a teacher, I have these amazing teacher skills <laughs> to be able to hold their hand and help them cross right. the finish line and make sure that they get through those difficult hurdles super simply. Right, because they're also going to have days that aren't 5K days, and how do we, yeah. <laughs> how do we get through those difficult days as well are just as important. Yes, and as a mindset coach and as a success coach, I can help them with the beliefs necessary to help them navigate or negotiate those difficulties that come up in their mind. Oh, perfect. Okay, so both of these things have websites. So yes. go ahead and share um, your Success Club website and then also the Game Changer Challenge website. Awesome. So for Success Club, this is a little bit of a long one, but just hang with me. It's www.ruthiespeaks, Ruthie with a Y ruthiespeaks.com forward slash success club. Okay, perfect. We have that up on the screen so they can see that as well. And then the Game Changer Challenge. For the Game Changer Challenge, go to the 5kday.com. The 5kday.com. So fun. And then do you have social media or a website for yourself that I people do. can find you at? I do. So I'm on social media as Ruthanna Sontag, whether that is uh, so on Facebook, mm -hmm. Ruthanna Sontag. As, um, on Instagram, it's Truth Anna. Truth like Anna. truth with Anna at the end. Perfect. No spaces, no, no underscores or anything. And on um, my website is claritycoaching.me. Claritycoaching.me. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Yes. Why don't we end with just some inspiration? Since you are a mindset coach, um, can you give our viewers just some words of inspiration for their day today as they're watching this? Mm, yes. Okay, kind of put me on the spot. But I, I know, love it. I'm putting I love you on it. the spot a little bit. I love it. Yeah, just um, maybe you can take it down the road of entrepreneurs. What would you tell someone who's watching this who is thinking about becoming an entrepreneur? Oh, don't give up. Chase mm -hmm. your dreams. They're worth it. Put the goal on the wall, write the vision, make it plain so that you can see it. Look at it every single day. And if you're a person of faith, just believe every single day that like I'm getting closer every, in ev every day and in every way. I am becoming more and more successful. I will have that goal. That's really good advice. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching today on Good Morning Akron. We had a wonderful show here with Ruthie. Make sure you check out all of her great programs that she has. Check out Clarity Coaching. I know I can always use um, some mindset training myself, so I bet you can too as well. All right. Thanks, everyone. Keep watching.